Hello everybody, it is I, the Fredders 93 I uh, suppose you could think of this as a little bit of a face reveal, if you will. It's the first time using a camera or a microphone on the channel, and it's definitely going to be something I'll look to use more in the future, and yeah, so it definitely won't be the last time you s see or hear me. And this is a bit of an interesting uh, first time, first time you using these um, devi devices because <sighs> there's a bit of a talk, there's a bit of a discussion point in football that we should probably talk about. Unless you've been living under a rock for like the last sort of week or so, then you'll have known that the Saudi-backed takeover of Newcastle United collapsed. I mean. Who foresaw that coming? We all did, to be honest. I think if, I think as soon as the news came out of of this bid, every Newcastle fan was sceptical. I mean, of course, of course they were. This is like the this is now the fourth time in the last couple of years where a deal was supposed to have happened, but nothing ever materialised of it. I mean, this is actually the furthest. That a, de that a deal has ever got to, but of course it was going to collapse. It was involving Newcastle. <sighs> but I think for me, the point where we sort of like had doubts and everything of this deal going ahead was the moment that the public investment fund of Saudi Arabia um, was said to have like an 80% stake in the deal. And... Because, and the reason why there was there was doubts because of course politics but, and everything and all that sort of fun stuff became involved involved everyone's because then because of course when Saudi Arabia was com was sort of confirmed to be part of the deal suddenly everyone everyone had a voice or an opinion about it regardless of whether or not you were involved. In football, I mean, this is this is. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying like the human, the these human rights groups that had an opinion of it. The World Trade Organization, who had probably had an opinion on it. Amnesty International, who had an opinion on it. Um, J Jamal Khashoggi's wid widow um, had to had to. Kenzig, Chenzig. I'm sorry if I, but if I'm sorry, the, but if I just butchered the pronunciation on that. Even be in sports in guitar, in guitar, they all had an opinion on it, and then all of a sudden, it became this. Not so much an objection to Newcastle being sold. It was more of like a political object. Objection to Newcastle being sold to effectively a country of Sa Saudi Arabia. Nevertheless, the way that the Premier League have handled the whole takeover, um, it's it was, it's been disgusting. It's been an insult to us. That's bad. Um, us Newca us Newcastle fans. I mean. The whole way we've, the whole way the Premier League's handled it and just basically said and did nothing in all of this was an absolute joke. And, and I mean, uh, I mean, this is like no disrespect to the Premier League because I know that certainly in a in April, May, beginning of June, they would have been sort of wanting to think about how to get the Premier League. Up, up and running again, given the um, and safe safely given the circumstances that we've all had to adapt to in this in this world this this year and everything like that. But there could have been someone else that, han that handled this as well. They could have handled this as well. But the fact that they chose and that they chose to say and do absolutely nothing, not even. Give us fans even a small bit of news or update or an update or anything like that. That just goes to show, show like uh, another opinion of mine, which I'll get to 
in a moment. Um, inter- interesting what's come out, sort of like in the day or so af- after um, the news of the deals collapse, which was the fact that, among a few other clubs that are supposedly wrote into the Premier League saying their um, objections to the deal, apparently Liverpool and Spurs were supposedly two of the clubs that put in objections. And I mean, of course, they're the big, of course, they are two of the big six. The the big six are sort of like the main go, the main go-tos for people choosing teams to support. Like, they are the main sort of money makers of the Premier League, if you will. And of course, they, they'll see Newcastle, they would see Newcastle being sort of like a, a sleeping giant, being, awoke, being awoken with this sudden, inve- sudden investment, and they would have seen them as a threat. I mean, of co- so of course they would reject the uh, idea of the takeover at this point. However, all of this does sort of just confirm to me that unless you're a team of part of or in the big six, so Arsenal, Chelsea, Liverpool, Man City, Man United, Tottenham, the main so so, so the main six teams in the Premier League, um, that are sort of like the main sort of like money grabbers. Like sort of like the main, well, not so much money grabbers. Sort of more the um, teams that f- fans all o- all around the world sort of like watch or they support. If you if you if you're not a fan of any of those teams or you're not associated with any of those teams in that six, then I'm really sorry to say this. The Premier League doesn't care. I mean, it just does not care. I mean, you've we've seen we've seen it all throughout the season as well. So like V like VAR decisions in terms of over overturning suspensions. And I mean, a few weeks ago, we just saw it with Man with Man City how they were just able to get their two year European ban sort of for breaking financial fair play, uh, basically wipe wipe clean. So it's like it didn't exist. So it's, Reduced to just a fine, which to Man City is just basically cash buying the sofa for them. I guess what Newcastle fans really want and deserve from all of this is answers. And like we've been kept in the dark for so long about it that when uh, now the deal's broken down. Of course they still haven't said anything. Like, Richard Masters, sort it out. Just sort it out. Anyway, that's probably going to do, that's probably going to finish this uh, rant, this all like rant about the whole situation involving Newcastle, Castle United. Um, if you enjoyed it, and you want to, and you want to see me talk about more other issues f- with football, do drop do drop a like, of course. Uh, comment the things you want to talk, you want me to talk about, and subscribe, of course. Um, something I would suggest is that you follow the Insta- the Instagram that is in. My, they'll be in the des- in the description. It is to my specific uh, gaming gaming Instagram, the Fredders ninety three gaming, um, because you do get you do get sort of like a first view and a first sort of like yeah definitely first first viewing of anything that comes up on this channel and of and I also use the polls feature on Inst- on Instagram stories for basically ideas for content content for you guys and this is it's actually how this video has come about in the first place um so yeah enjoy the rest of your days and we should, and I'll see you very soon.